Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about mid segment of a triangle. So, a mid segment is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So, for example, here, if you looked at this side, A, B, D would be the midpoint between A and B. And over on this side, if we have C and B, E would be the midpoint of C, B. Okay, so once we establish these two are midpoints, then the line segment connecting them is a mid segment. Okay, so this line is one half the length of the base and parallel to the base. So DE is always going to be, if it is a true mid segment, it will be parallel to whatever the base is. So in this case, AC. Um, and it's also one half the length. So this is one half of the base. Okay, um, so this times two gives me the bottom. So let's think about this. If DE is four, then AC would be what? So if DE, this is a mid segment, if this length was four, then the base would be what? Well, I know that this is half of this, so what is four times two? Well, that would be eight. So if DE was four, AC would be eight. What about if DE was 24? Okay, so if this was 24, then I know the base would have to be 24 times two, which would be 48. Now let's go in reverse. If I gave you the base, AC was 36, then I know DE is half of that because for whatever this is, this is going to be half of it. So I would do 36 divided by 2, which is 18. And if AC, again the base, was 100, then DE would be half of 100, which would be 50. Now this says if DE, so if our mid segment line was 3x plus 1, and AC, our base, was 10x minus 6, find the length of both. So we want to be able to say what's the length of DE and what's the length of AC. Um, so I've got to write an equation based on the relationship I know for mid segments. So I know that 2 times the mid segment, which is 3x plus 1, gives me the base, which I know is 10x minus 6. Now this is how I just always prefer to set it up. I like to take whatever the shorter mid segment is, multiply it by 2 to give me the base. Other people prefer to take the base, um, multiply it by 1 half, to give them the mid segment. It doesn't matter. Either way you should get the same answer. I just like to avoid fractions uh, anytime it's possible to avoid them. So I just like multiplying by two instead of multiplying this one by one half. Either way you'll get the same answer. So let's go ahead and solve this using our algebra. So I want to distribute the two in. Oh, I left out my little plus one. Oops. 3x plus 1, close parenthesis, sorry. All right, so 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times positive 1 is positive 2. That's going to give me 10x minus 6. So now I'd want to get my x's together. I always like to keep, keep them positive. So I'm going to move my 6x over. 10 minus 6x, that's going to give me 4x. Right, so 4x minus 6 equals 2. Now I want to get the 6 over here, so I'm going to add it. Use my inverse operations. 2 plus 6 is 8 equals 4x. And then of course I want to divide both sides by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2, so I get x equals 2. Now I gotta be careful because they didn't ask, two is not my answer, they didn't ask me to find x. They asked me to find the length of DE and to find the length of AC. 
But now I have all the information I need because I know what X is. It's 2. So let's first find DE. Okay, so DE is 3 times X, which is 2, plus 1. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So I know the length of DE is 7. Okay, that's one of my answers. Now, knowing my rules about mid-segments, if DE was 7, then AC has to be 7 times 2. It should be 14. But let me just double check with my math just to make sure that I have truly found the correct X. So AC, I know is 10 times X. X is 2 minus 6. So in this case, it's 10 times 2 is 20, and 20 minus 6 is 14. Okay, so that just confirms DE is 7, AEAC is going to be 14. Okay, a lot of times you'll see this shape. It's like a triangle and then an upside down triangle on the inside of it. And so we have a lot of mid-segments going on here. It says O, P, and Q. So O, P, and Q are midpoints of each side. So we really need that information to be able to say, okay, I need to know that O is the midpoint of LM to be able to say that this is a mid-segment, if that makes sense. So you've got to know that you've got to have confirmation that they are midpoints of each side to know that they are mid-segments. Um, so this is a shape you'll see a lot um, come up on various worksheets and quizzes and, and all that stuff. Um, so let's let's draw some conclusions here just for these these first couple statements. So it says OP, line OP, which would be right here, this segment, right? OP is parallel, that's what that symbol means, is parallel to what? So let's think if OP is here, what line would that be parallel to, assuming that it is the mid-segment? Well, it would be the base below it, L, N. So we can see this is parallel to this. So we would write that L, N. All right, now PQ, right here, here's a segment, PQ is parallel to what? So this one is not gonna be parallel to the base, and this is kind of what's important to see is that we can turn this triangle different directions. So PQ is gonna be parallel right here to ML, okay? Um, so that's just, so, it, it doesn't matter that this isn't on the bottom right? It's on the side, but it's still parallel to PQ, and PQ can still be the mid-segment to the side, okay? So we would say to ML. All right, and last one, QO, which would be right here. QO is parallel to NM. That would be its base. So let's do some questions with this. If, if line segment LM, so right here, LM is 30 centimeters. Well, let's label that. So we're saying if this is 30, okay, what is the length of QP? So what would be the length of this line segment right here? If this is 30, what is this? Well, we know these two are parallel together. We know that Q and P are the mid-segments of their lines. So therefore, I know that QP has to be one half of 30. So 30 divided by two is 15 centimeters. All right, now it says if MP Okay, so MP is right here. If MP is eight centimeters, so let's label that. MP, that was 30 centimeters. If MP is eight centimeters, what is the length of MN? Okay, so we wanna know what is the length of this total side. 
Well, if MP is 8 centimeters and P is the midpoint, then I can say PN is also 8 centimeters. And some people might be saying, well, this one looks a little shorter than this one. This is not drawn to scale. We're just making some assumptions here. This is just a rough sketch. So 8 plus 8 gives me 16. So I know the MN is 16 centimeters. If line OP, right here, OP is X, okay, and LN, so this whole base, is 3X minus 6, what is X? So I've got to write an equation to figure out what is X based on my knowledge of mid-segments. So if OP is X, I know 2 times the mid-segment, OP, gives me... 3x minus 6. So now this is a really easy solve to try to get x alone. Okay, now you could have done the reverse. You could have done 1 half times 3x minus 6 equals x. Again, I don't like fractions, so I just like keeping it simple. So 2 times x is 2x equals 3x minus 6. I would want to get my x's to one side. Right, so 3x, I'm going to bring it over to the side here. Um, I've got 0 equals x minus 6, right? We want to add 6 to both sides, and we get 6 equals x. Okay, so now I've got an example for you to try. Um, it asks you to find x. It says line CD, line segment CD right here, is x plus 2. And it is a mid-segment, I left out my little G, it is a mid-segment of LM, okay? So you've got to, just like we did here, you've got to write an equation to be able to solve for X based on your knowledge of mid-segments. I will post the answer in the video description below this video. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.